Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are playing with some colorful makeup. We're actually using the second palette from the Sydney Grace and Temptalia collection that came out about a month and a half ago. And the cool thing about these, there were light shades, dark shades in the eyeshadow palettes. You could buy them individually. You could buy them as a collection and get a discounted price. But you guys, I had to check it out. I did do a video with the first palette. It will be linked down below. If so if you're interested in seeing that, go check that out. But then you guys, we used the On The Horizon palette, which the artwork on this is so cool. And the three of them together create one big piece of artwork. Now today, this is the color story that we were playing around with, and then I got this look from it. So, if you're new here, hit the subscribe button down below, hit the bell for notifications to new videos. If you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. I really appreciate it. But if you wanna see how I got this look using the On The Horizon palette from Sydney Grace and Temptalia, just keep watching. Okay, you guys, I have primed my eyes. I used the Glam Light Icing. This is in the shade Classic Vanilla. I do wanna do a comparison video with the P. Louise Base and Juvia's Place. Do you guys wanna see that? Cause I have really been liking all three of them, but I haven't done like a comparison to see like how well the eyeshadows perform, the opacity of like the eyeshadows. If you wanna see that, comment down below. Um, but for what we're putting on the eyes today, this is the Sydney Grace and Temptalia. This is the second palette on the horizon. I've used the other, I, the first eyeshadow palette. I still have another one, but I was thinking like these shades right here and then this mauvey purpley shade, but they're so pretty. I do want to swatch some of the shimmers that I was looking at. Um, so this one is flying high. <laughs> My last video was teal, so we're gonna try and steer clear. This one is Lunar Illumination. Oh yeah, I wanna use that one today. Then there is Sakura Glow. Ooh, yeah, that would be really pretty. And Magellan's Light. Those four shades are stunning. There's some other like satin shades in here. Um, this one, Phoenix Awakens, I don't usually put them on my thumb. That one's really pretty too. So those five shades are like more the shimmers and what we're playing with today. Okay, so the first shade I wanna go into is this one right here, October Odyssey. I'm gonna go in on my Sigma E25. And that one's gonna go in the crease and the outer V, just to kind of give us our base colors. And I'm gonna use Infinite Echoes to darken it up. You guys, these colors are so pigmented. I feel like I just did <laughs> another Sydney Grace um, palette, and I did, honestly. It was, I think, two or three videos ago, but it was the Sydney Grace and Mel Thompson. But you guys, I've enjoyed the Sydney Grace eyeshadows that I have tried so far. If you're still on the fence of trying them out, so far I've liked what I've used, which was the first palette um, from Sydney Grace and Tentalia, and then Tiny Marvels from Sydney Grace and Mel Thompson. But let's see, can we get this blended out? Because it's kind of gathering. I did want to use the greens in here, like these shades right here, but I just did a teal look. Um, so I don't want to repeat the same thing or similar. Cause I, I keep going back to teal and that's weird. Cause like, that's not like even my favorite. I really like the mauve purples and stuff. And you know what? I feel like, the last look I did was like purpley mauves. I'll have to look. All right, so I think the crease is built up well. Let's get the outer V. I 
Okay, now on a Sigma E54, I'm gonna go into the shade Infinite Echoes. I'm gonna build that outer V up and sweep into the crease. Anyone else starting to get like the fall vibes? Um, if you saw my stories, was it a couple, about a week ago now, I had gone to TJ Maxx with one of my friends, or no, Home Goods. I mean, they're the, sa they're the same, except Home Goods doesn't have clothes. Um, but we went there, I went for one specific thing, um, <laughs> but I ended up buying so much more. And I ended up finding the pumpkin spice like coffee syrups. Did I need them? No. Um, but I bought them anyways. <laughs> and I have literally been like adding them to my Nespresso every morning, whether it's like pumpkin spice or maple donut, like it's August. It's not even September yet. September is in like, by the time you see this, it'll be September 1st. Um, but <laughs> can we just get to September before I start doing like pumpkin spice stuff? Um, but I mean, there's also Halloween and Christmas out at the same time at some of these stores. And I was, we, we gotta celebrate one of them first. So I'm just, um, I don't know. I feel, anyone else feel some sort of way about having like Halloween and Christmas stuff up at the same time at these like decor shops? Cause I think we were at, at home and they had all this Halloween stuff, these ginormous um, statues and silhouettes for the front lawn. And then two aisles over there is Christmas decorations. Anyone else feel some sort of way about that? Like, can I just celebrate one holiday before I start putting up my decorations for the next one? And even then, I'm still not like 100% on like decorating for Halloween. I kind of just bunch all my like fall and Halloween stuff together and like chuck in some witches and ghosts and goblins with all my pumpkins. <laughs> Anyone else like that? Like I'll decorate a little bit for Halloween. I'll pass out candy to the kids. But I, I like pumpkins and like fall vibes more than like ghosts and witches. Okay, I'm gonna go into this shade right here, Sakura Glow. I'm gonna put that in the middle of the eye and then use Lunar Illumination in the inner corner right here. Guys, that's so funny. But anyone else feeling some sort of way about Christmas and Halloween all up at the same time? We haven't even gotten to like fall festivals or any of that stuff. The pumpkin patch hasn't even opened yet. Why does my nose itch? And then they're so buttery and smooth, like these eyeshadows. And then lunar illumination. these shades they just they're cohesive and pretty and like I feel like oh, that's pretty all right I'm gonna go back in to infinite echoes just a smidge I always do this towards the end anyways but I feel like I just dragged the silver all through the crease. I did. That's exactly what I just did. 100% <laughs> just did that. We're gonna fix this a little bit. I'm gonna take my Laura Lee L18. <laughs> I stained it with one of the Huda Beauty um, liquid pigments, like the liquid eyeshadows. I just need to fluff that silver out. It's not bad, it's just what I was going for. I 
All right, cool. I got the silver kind of out of the crease. There's still some there, but I don't want it dragged into my outer V. All right, I do need to put a little bit of Sakura glow. Okay, let me go do some face makeup, base products. <laughs> I'll be back. Okay, so let's finish off this eye look. And what I'm gonna do is do October Odyssey and then add Infinite Echoes in the outer V and then drag it under. So let's find my brush. That brush is not doing it. I switched to my Laura Lee, is it L19? It's just a little bit more dense, which makes it great for underneath the eyes. Infinite Echoes. And then a little bit of Lunar Elimination in the inner corner, just underneath. Oh, that's pretty. And this is just a dry brush. Sometimes like shimmer shades are finicky when it comes to brushes. I prefer to use my fingers for application, but this went on well with a dry brush. So now for inner corner highlight, <laughs> there's not, I mean, there is, I can use this shade right here, which is Heart Dog. So, and just kind of like a silvery, which I think would be really pretty with this. So, see how it picks up on the brush. Oh, that's really pretty. Okay, and then where did my highlighter go? Highlight brush. Just a little smidge of it. And then I'm gonna go back into October Odyssey ever so slightly. And just right here, add a little bit of it on the outer edge. Okay, let me go do some eyeliner, mascara, and my brows, and I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, I'm back, and this is the final look. I'm really digging the purple eyeshadows. They worked so well. The shimmers are beautiful and just cohesive. I like how it turned out and then I just kept it kind of mauve with the lipstick and stuff. So I don't want to do like anything too crazy. It's my usual. If I do a bold eye, I keep it pretty neutral on the lips. But <laughs> that's it. Now I did have to go back and refresh my memory on what I did with the first palette, which was the Quintessence palette. So I couldn't remember. I have done so many videos recently that I couldn't keep track of what it looked like. So I did grab the Quintessence palette, which is this one. This is the light shade because they come in light or dark. So this one I had focused on the blues and kept it more like in the gray tones and the blues. So I had that video, I'm gonna link down below for you if you wanna go check it out. But I did want to compare the Quintessence in On The Horizon because I kind of forgot what they looked like compared to each other. So. If I can like not mess this up. Okay, so on the bottom we have Quintessence. On the top is On the Horizon. And I stuck with more of like the mauve purple shades 
and the last time I stuck with the grays and the blues. So I feel like there's a lot of variety in here. Now, there are some greens in both of these palettes. Not mad at that, I can try them out. But, you know, there are some different pops of color in here. So, I will, like I said, I'll link the first video down below so you can go check that out. We do still have a third palette that I need to try out. I will try and use that probably in the next three or four videos so there's not like a huge lapse in time. But you guys, that's it for this look and this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button down below, hit the bell for notifications of new videos. And if you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Until next time, you guys, bye. I'll see you in the next one.